Hello, welcome back to our channel and to another video. Uh, this time we'll cover another technique and we'll be looking at the Shomen Uchi Kokyunage. So there is a very basic uh, version that we are usually doing, uh, but we'll show you also a more advanced variation of this technique. For the basic version of the Shomenuchi Kokunage technique, we can move in a very similar way. We can do it actually in a very similar way to uh, the same technique Kokunage, but from the Atagi Akute Dori. So we would move with our back foot, uh, do an Irimiten Kam, placing ourselves next to the Uke. And then from here, as we, as we are prepared for the projection, we will slide forward and, and uh, do the Kokyunage projection from here. So the basic version of the Shomenuchi Kokyunage would normally resemble the uh, Gyakute Dori Kokyunage variant, which we already covered, I think, in one of our videos. And as we start with, with a basic static connection here, I will actually move around the arm, so I will put my I will make an uh, illimitant camp, so I will put my back foot next to the foot of Uke, turn around, as I, and then as I do the ten camp with my foot, I would enter here underneath the arm. Okay? And from this position, I can grab, or I don't need to grab, I can just connect here, and then I would take a step forward, releasing the Uke into the projection. Okay, so this was the basic variant of the technique from, from a static attack. Uh, but there is also a variant that we do in a, um, a dynamic uh, situation with dynamic attack. And it's especially nice when we do Giuwaza and uh, we project the Uke. The Uke is coming back with a very energetic and engaged Shomenuchi. This is the moment when you can do it actually by disappearing underneath the Uke and he's just falling over you. It's difficult to set it up really from a static situation, so we'll try to do it. We'll try to do the static technique, and then Sandra will come back at me with another attack, and we'll see if it works. <laughs> so static first. Projection, and as she's coming back, I'm hiding underneath, and she goes over. Actually, the thing is that when something is closing into your feet, you, you have rather the tendency to, and you're engaged already with the movement here, with the energy here, you will just roll over, okay? So, thanks for watching, hope you liked it, and leave some comments under the video to, if you experience the same things with these techniques, or if you do it in a completely different way, and see you again in another video.